Well, welcome back again. Now, in this video, we're doing size approximately men's eight and a half to nine and a half. That would be women's nine and a half to ten. That's a nice pair of stingray. Ostrich, more sea turtle. El Rey, the top of the line, Tony Lama, but quite expensive. New. Another great pair of sea turtle. Uh, the sea turtle boots, and a lot of these boots are highly collectible, will hold their value over time, if not more. I look at a pair of sea turtle boots just like owning a 1968 Shelby Mustang GT 350 restored. You dang well know it's going to hold its value. That's a 50 year old boot, folks. There's another 50 year old pair of turtle boots. That beats the doors off anything. <coughs> at a new boot store for uh, 1500 2000 Alligator. Pair of custom uh, elephant. Here's some rock star boots. 1950s, peewees. Look at that stitching on the uh, vamps. Vamps is the front of the boot. 1950s boot. Brand new soles, brand new heels. All the leather and all the boots are deeply conditioned, professionally polished. They will outlive you. Not a nice pair of peewees. Fully restored. Moving on. Nice vamp stitching on that old boot. I like to call it the uh, diamond inlay. More diamond inlay, 1950s peewees, bigger sizes. More customs. I think the boots in the 50s and 60s really have a lot more character than boots of today. More sea turtle. Alligators. Sea turtle. More alligator. This is 1960s. Look at the hand stitching on the boots. Work of art. They don't make boots like that no more. These boots can be had for a fraction of the price of new, and they'll last just as long as new boots, and they're better quality. Nice maroon, dark maroon stingrays. Ostrich. Nice Teju lizard with the uh, businessman toe there. Nice color inlay peewees from the 50s. Again, the, all these are fully restored. You will get noticed on the dance floor. I do it when I wear mine. You betcha. All right, next video we move on to bigger boots.